Maltese is easy! To truly understand the Maltese language, you must understand its roots. As you might be aware, Malta has been under control of several different empires. One taking it over from another. This has been going on for ages. Until around the middle of 20th century. So it's no wonder that the Maltese language is a mixture of different languages. The oldest influences are Semitic. Then they were the Italians. I tell her you now understand, I wanna fuck her on the table. The reason too, they influenced the France. And then, of course, were the British. The British are coming! So if you want to become the master of Maltese language, you must realize which words come from which influences and treat them slightly differently. The most important influence is the Semitic influence. It's quite easy to identify the Semitic influences. Basically, if you see a word and it reminds you of nothing from English language or another Roman language or anything like this, it's most probably a Semitic word. You will notice one thing about the Semitic words. They're all short. Semitic words are all based on the same thing, the root. And the root is built from consonants only. There are always three consonants or four consonants only. Even if you have very short Maltese words, the middle vowel is built from a consonant which is either W or a J. The words which are built from four consonants are much more rare. In addition to the base consonants which form the root of the word, you might have extra consonants at the beginning or at the end, which mean grammatical forms. Example, kiteb, k, t, b are the three consonants that form the root of the word, which means he wrote. Nikteb, k, t, b, I write. Ktibna, k, t, b, we wrote. Kidba, k, t, b, writing. Ktib, k, t, b. Book. Kotba. Kotb. Books. Ktib. Kttb. Writer. Miktub. Ktb. Written. <laughs> Got it? Got it? It's that simple. If you don't know a word, look for those three consonants in the middle. It might be that you know another word which has the same consonants and this will immediately give you an idea about the meaning of what the person is writing or talking about. Okay, now the second group. The Italian words. Peace on you too, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna back to Italia. Now, come on, these are really easy to notice. Calzetta, giornata, tradizioni. These words follow exactly the same grammar rules as the Semitic words. Now, the basis of such words is not called the root, it's called the branch. And for example, if you have a branch, spiccia, which means finishing to finish, etc., you have words like nispiccia, I finish, tispiccia, you finish, spiccite, I finished, spiccina, we finished. The French influences you really don't have to worry about because it's just a couple of words like bonjour from bonjour. But almost every new modern term comes from the English language. But what the Maltese language does with it is actually quite incredible. Computer. Mobile. Cake. Air conditioner. <laughs> and there you go. Now you know why Maltese language seems so weird, and you can decipher the basics. <laughs>